Hello everybody, welcome to this interview. Today, we're gonna to be talking with Eleni Manolas. She has been a spoke woman and participant in a manual against sexual abuse for children, adolescents, and families, in partnership with United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund and Unidos por la Niñez Foundation. Ambassador of Peace and Security granted by the Ministry of Public Security of the Republic of Panama. Annual Youth Recognition by the Ministry of Economy and Finance of the Republic of Panama. Member of the National Debate Team in 2018 and 2020 and a champion in more than six debate tournaments. So let's listen some of her answers about some questions I ask her. What kind of hate are you more concerned of? Well, I'm concerned of any kind of hate it exists in the world, but I'd say mostly I'm working towards hate against the LGBTQ minorities and also against women. Some scenes of hate or unfairness or discrimination that has impacted you the most or you have experienced? Well, I think inside my country, I'm still a woman, but I'm privileged because I don't have the same um, experiences that many women in my country have experienced, a indigenous woman or a black woman in my country. I think I've experienced um, discrimination in the sense that I've been cut cold in the streets. I've been maybe taking away opportunities because I'm a woman and I couldn't comply with the time that was required for any kind of project. But I think one of the most um, experiences that have marked me the most, I think, is working in the uh, Foundation. The stories of sexual assault and against children in that foundation are very strong, and the kind of lack of support from the government, like this kind of initiatives have, it's amazing because they never support anything, and it's yeah. the only place in whole Panama <laughs> that treats this kind of issue. So it's very worrying and that impacts me the most because I want to help. So this kind of initiative can like help um, a lot of children that are in this kind of very vulnerable situation. Besides that, as a leader in your community, can you share with us some actions and some initiatives you have had in order to fight again, I don't know, uh, or promote the social justice or as, as it is known that you are a feminist and also an activist in some movement and some protests. So please share with us some of that experience. Because I want to educate myself the most before I can share this information, because I think it's very delicate when you're an advocate for any movement. But the first thing that I try to do is to educate others. Um, I try to create different documents that can educate people about feminism, but it's not about word or either about movement. I tried to um, work with this foundation so we can protect, especially, I want to focus personally more on women against sexual assault. I try to speak out. I, that's my kind of my mantra. Like speak out in every situation that you see discrimination because if you don't speak out and you have the privilege to do so, you're part of the issue. So I think personally, I like, I feel a responsibility to actually speak out against these things um, every single time I encounter them. I think also I've, well, I've participated in debates for the last three years. And every time I do any debate event, I like, uh, I try to be as inclusive I can, as I can. I try to um, have free subscription for people that I know it's difficult to pay. Um, I try to use inclusive language when I debate. And I try to speak out against issues that touch me the most about feminism and more sexual assault. So Eleni, what does motivate you to keep going? And where is that motivation coming from? Well, I think motivation and fighting for causes such as feminism in a very conservative country, is very difficult. Like every time you're gonna speak out about these issues, there's very likely there's just gonna be lots of people that want to bring you down. Where people don't like, they can't stop like commenting bad things about me, not even about the movement. So. Mm, the, the main thing that motivates me, I think, is basically, like, I feel a responsibility to help. Like, I feel like I'm in this country, I have the ability 
thank God, to speak freely whatever I want and not be killed or persecuted again. So if I have that privilege, I need to use it because my privilege is very, very crucial for other people. Like if I speak out against these issues constantly over and over and over again, maybe one time someone that can actually make a political change will hear me out and then they will make a change for other people that really need this uh, change. The motivation is basically that I can help other people by speaking out. And I know that I can speak out and sometimes people listen to me. And maybe it's not that significant, but like as just a small thing can keep me from going like in that kind, like speaking out in this issue and so on. Hey, thank you for sharing that with us. Um, some last words that you would like to share with people who is watching you right now. Yeah, I think firstly, you need to acknowledge that feminism is not about words. Feminism is not about movement. We're not trying to, I don't know, kill anybody. We're really just trying to have equal opportunities for all women. And it's very sad when you actually look at the stories of women that are maybe not in your current context, like how the comments or maybe the reactions they have to the rape stories or et cetera, how much they can affect someone's life is very um, traumatical. Like it's, you need to be careful of how you receive and you, how you take in this kind of stories. So be careful with that and acknowledge, inform yourself. If you inform yourself, I swear you're going to see things very, very differently from how they are right now. And also for the activists out there and from people that are trying to speak out, your voice is valid. It does not matter where your voice comes from. If you speak Arabic, if you speak English, Italian, Spanish, it doesn't matter. Like your voice matters and whatever you say will be taken into consideration in different contexts and will help someone. I promise. Even if you don't notice. And if the haters are going to come, because I assure you at some point they're going to come for you, just ignore them. There are people that are scared of new and different things. And yeah, I think there are some words I would have to say. Thank you for sharing that with us. Some insights that we can have about you is that it is important to keep informed because is being educated in the topic that we can fight against it, against like the problem. If you're not informed, we don't know what is going on, right? And also yeah. to speak out. So that's what I like the most. Like you're not afraid of speaking out mm -hmm. and to point out a problem that is happening because in that way, it seems like something small, but in that way you can really save somebody who is suffering. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.